They're a team in transition. After a trip to the Final Four last spring, the Warriors have started to rebuild their foundation. But a playoff spot this year is still in their short-term plans. It's the Hitmen and Warriors, next on Shaw. With it as Bell comes out of the box. And Bell, wrist shot, scores! My goodness! Tyler Bell, it's 2-1. Tyler Bell comes out of the box as a defenseman. He picks up the puck and all he is thinking, I'm just going to get this puck deep and change. So a forward, come on to take my place. And he just takes a wrister on net. And somehow this sneaks under the arm of Max Shields. Just under the left arm and just makes it across the goal line. That's a break. Moose Jaw Warriors deep. Tyler Bell with his first goal and his first point. After 20 minutes, the Hitman lead 2-1 here in Moose Jaw at ice level with Warriors' Braden Point. What do you take away from the first period? Uh, we, had a, we had a pretty slow start there with the two goals against, but uh, I think that goal by Belzy is going to really pick us up, and uh, we just got to get a little more grind time moving forward. And you're only down by one goal. What will the game plan be for the next 40 minutes? Uh, you know, just keep, uh, keep trying to get in their zone, keep working them down low, and uh, hopefully generate some scoring chances like that. Now you're fresh off the U17 Hockey Challenge. What was that experience like for you? It was good. Uh, it was good to play some uh, international competition, but uh, you know it's back here in Moose Jaw, and now it's, uh, it's business as usual. What do you expect uh, from your game in the second half of the season? Are you expecting any changes? No, I'm just going to try to keep playing my game. You know, try to keep working hard, and uh, you know, uh, just try to keep producing for the team. Now, here it was your birthday yesterday. Would a win here tonight be a good birthday present? Yeah, uh, yeah, that'd be that'd be awesome. Thanks, Brandon. Good luck. Thank you. We'll go to Andy Neal at WHL Central. Many thanks, Atlanta and WHL Central brought to you by Sierra Sill. 2-1. Jump, helping your sentiment win that faceoff and take it into the net. Kirsch scores! Justin Kirsch. And this game is separated by one again. And if you want to talk about a goal scorer, it's Justin Kirsch. He doesn't need many opportunities. He's got a wicked shot. He almost got a goal early in the game with a wrist shot. This one off the one-timer. Gets all but gets it on net. Finds its way 5-0 on Max Shields. Does this Jeff go off the defenseman's stick? Almost looked like it hit Kosterman on the way in. Maybe not. Well, it's a good job by traffic. Off the faceoff. A lot of times you'll have to... The guys are going for that. They'll shy away looking for that shot tip. Real nice job by Bruce Jock going for the net for the deflect. And there's a penalty in the neutral zone. Kirsch scores again! He can shoot it. Second of the period, and this game's tied at three. Well, the Bruce Jock Warriors with some good work to draw the penalties, good discipline, and Justin Kirsch. Set up on that left point position, set up exactly for that, that one-timer. This one comes in off the faceoff. The first one with that pass across in the point position. Either way, he gets all of this one too and finds a way behind Max Shields. And that's going to be all for tonight. Back two for three on the power play tonight with a fourth chance. Here another penalty here by the Calgary Hip. Another stick in traction on the back check. Mike Williamson not going to be happy with that. Both of them. Daniel Waffle coming up with a save that he has to make to give this Warrior team a chance to make a comeback down by one. Good job off the breakout. Creates a chance. First save. Second opportunity. Square to the puck. Daniel Waffle. 2 1 Warriors when the, or make that hit when the period began. Three. A grand four jack by the Moose Draw Warriors. Josh Yurts comes in. He makes a big hit here in Kosterman. Making them pay the price from there. They're outside the line. That's one thing about this Moose Jaw Warrior team. There's not a lot of quit in them. Bryson Gore has had an outstanding game here. Has a great chance to score. Been tenacious on the forecheck. But good back pressure in the new zone. Stripping pucks. In attendance. And we'll take a look at Daniel Wapple's save. Great job. Great pass across. And man, did he get over there nice. Flash that right pass. Spectacular stop by Wapner to keep his team in it. This shot 
retrieve and score! Brayden Duchesne, don't go away, it's 5-4. And the last time Josh Yurick had a big hit behind the net earlier in this career, what the Moose Jaw Warriors do? They responded with some great scoring chances. This time, it results in a goal. Here we'll take a look at the hit. That's as clean as it gets. Right there, no reaction by Calgary. It was a clean hit. And then Moose Jaw comes right back. Puck on the net. Braden set coming in from his point position and finding the rebound. This has been a great game. Real good game. Moose Jaw loves one goal games. Here they go again. Well, here at Mosaic Place in Moose Jaw, the host Warriors wouldn't go away, but the Calgary Hitmen able to hold them off for a 6-4 win tonight, their fifth consecutive victory, two for two on this four-game road trip, four games and five nights for Calgary, three up on Edmonton for first in the Central and Eastern Conference. We're back on the air. WHL Central will be in Kelowna on Friday night for a Western Conference showdown between the Tri-City Americans and the Kelowna Rockets starting at 7 o'clock Pacific, 8 Mountain, 9 Central Time. As the Rockets, if they win tonight, could be going for a 17th straight home ice victory that evening. For Peter Labardius, Jeff Rogers, Alana Nolan, and the rest of the WHL on Shot Crew, I'm Andy Neal. Thanks so much for watching this evening. We'll talk to you again Friday night from Kelowna. Good night, everyone.